After installing VirtualBox on your Windows 10 or Windows 11, you may notice that the guest VM machine is running very slow for no apparent reason, even if you have a high-end PC. If you are experiencing such a problem and want to make your VirtualBox run much faster, continue watching and I'll show you several methods to optimize and make it run much faster. For the first method, we need to disable Hyper-V and Windows Hypervisor. Now the Hyper-V is a hardware virtualization product built into Windows 10 and 11 professional and enterprise editions only. But when Hyper-V feature is enabled, VirtualBox VM tends to run very slowly. So we need to disable it. On your main Windows, the host machine, click on the Windows search from the taskbar and let's type control panel. Click on it from the result, then select programs, then programs and features. And from the left hand menu, click on turn on Windows features on or off. We need to uncheck the following features. Containers, Hyper-V, Virtual Machine Platform, Windows Hypervisor Platform, and Windows Sandbox. Press OK to apply the changes and let's restart our computer to apply the changes. Once restarted, start your VirtualBox VM machine and check if the issue has been resolved. If not, let's proceed with the remaining methods. Method two is to allocate more CPU and memory resources. Now, sometimes the cost of low VirtualBox performance is due to low resources you have allocated to your virtual machine. For example, if you're on a Windows 10 machine, you need at least four gigabyte of RAM to run smoothly. Now to allocate more CPU and memory resources on your VM machine, open your VM settings and select system on the left. At the motherboard tab, drag the slider to the right and maximize the allocated memory for the VM machine. Next, at the processor tab, drag the slider to the right and allocate more CPUs for the VM machine. Also ensure the processor's execution cap is set to 100%. For the third method, we need to change the power plan to high performance or ultimate performance on both the host machine and the guest machine running on your virtual box, which is another reason for slow performance for virtual box, especially if you are using a laptop. On your host machine, click on the Windows search from the taskbar and let's type power cfg.cpl. Click on it from the result, select change plan settings, then click on change advanced power settings. From this drop-down box, let's select either high performance or ultimate performance if it's available. Then let's click on OK. Now you need to repeat these same steps for the guest machine running on your virtual box. Method four is to disable 3D acceleration in VM settings. Another reason VirtualBox runs very slowly is when 3D acceleration is enabled. So we need to disable it. On your host machine, open the VM settings and select display. On the left, uncheck the enable 3D acceleration checkbox and then click on OK. Method five is to change the graphics card and VM settings. Another method to optimize VirtualBox performance under the Windows 10 and Windows 11 is to use deterrent graphic controller on VirtualBox machine. Open your VM settings and at the display option, let's change the graphic controller from VBox SVGA or VBox VGA if it's already VBOX VGA, change it to VBOX SVGA and see if that makes a difference. And finally, method six is to disable the host input output cache and SATA controller. Although the host input output cache of the disk controller helps VirtualBox to run faster, in some cases it does not. Let's open your VM settings and select storage on the left. And let's uncheck the use host input output cache checkbox and then click on OK. If it's already disabled, then re-enable it. Another thing you want to do 
is whenever you launch your VirtualBox, make sure to run it as an administrator. So just right click on the icon and choose run as an admin. And that will give it more privilege to run faster. That's all. Let me know in the comment section which method worked for you. If this was helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this. Thank you for watching and bye for now.